the camera. I start to remember the ride. The ride to Philly. I remember how I felt. How I felt when I had to leave all my friends and my family. I was sad. I bet you're wondering, why the fuck was I so sad when I was leaving for vacation? Well, I was already depressed from how I felt in my life. I really didn't know who I was or what I was trying to do. But that's the thing, I bet you didn't even know who you were or why you do half the things you do sometimes. <laughs> On the road to Philly, I didn't have any real sense of what I was trying to do. All I knew was that I was heading into a city full of strangers with my camera, a couple of jackets for four days. I mean, what could I really do out there for four days? I didn't have a single clue until I started to put all the pieces together. Like why I was trying to get away from my house. Why was I going alone? Why didn't I bring any of my friends with me? Why for only four days? <clears throat> and well, I came up with this crazy idea. And the idea was alone. Alone was about being no one in a city full of thousands of people. It was about being hundreds and hundreds of miles away from where I live. It was about capturing the essence of how one feels when they're alone. It was about living in that moment. It was about myself and everything that I was afraid of. You see, I'm the type of person to go to the movies by themselves or go to the beach by themselves. Hell, I took a fucking four day trip, drove 14 hours into a city alone just to collect some moments and I, I'm okay with being alone in my own city because down deep down I know that I have friends down the street or in the city next to me so in that sense I knew I wasn't completely alone but when you're traveling out of state when you're traveling by yourself and when you are going into unknown territory you kind of find yourself in a new position of what alone really means and that's what scared me about this trip because once I got out of Florida I knew I was alone from here on out I knew I didn't have anyone close to me for the next couple of days <clears throat> and I guess I wanted to figure out how I would feel about it deep down <clears throat> it didn't feel all that great because I felt like I was in a room <clears throat> full of thousands of people right but in that same room I was in a different universe like there was two universes in that same room and that's how it felt walking in the streets of Philly um, so in that room I felt like I was emotionally and physically detached from every other human being in there which is uncommon for me When I was walking the streets of Philly, I just felt so cold and so dark. Like, I felt like I could be in Antarctica and not feel a difference, except for like the weather and the terrain. But other than that, it felt completely dark and alone. And no one knew who I was. No one knew my name. No one knew what my favorite color was and that was a scary thought to me I just I felt like I needed another person there <clears throat> I guess I could understand 
how another person feels in my state now that comes here from New York or Chicago or from just a state that that we don't really associate with that much. I could see how I would give somebody a cold shoulder if they were in my city and that's how I felt there. I felt like everyone was giving me the cold shoulder. While I was in Philly, <clears throat> while I was walking the streets of Philly and riding my bike in that 40 degree weather, freezing my feet off, I really had no idea what I was trying to do. Was I trying to find myself within this world or was I trying to figure out what was wrong with myself within this world? To me, it was all just like a huge test because this trip has showed me that at some point in my life, at this point in my life, I can't be alone for a very long time. I can't be alone from another human being. I can't be alone from familiar faces. Because when I was there, I felt so distant from myself. And that's crazy, because who feels so alone that they can't even be comfortable in their own skin? Like, that's how I felt. I felt like I didn't know who I was at all. And being alone, you you start to think about random stuff, about crazy stuff, about ideas that you wouldn't have thought by yourself. And of course, that's okay. That's That's good if you're trying to be creative. But when you're trying to figure out your life and when you're trying to figure out Am I supposed to be doing this? Am, am I even a good person? Like that's when you go on the other side of being okay with the law. <laughs> and I figured out that I shouldn't be alone from another human being for that long. For that matter, for that fact, because I need people in my life. I need to be able to have a conversation with a good pal of mine, I need to talk about my problems with people, and I can't do that when I'm alone. I can't discuss about my day with myself, because that's just like being crazy to me. Um, find our way back to society or to our friends like on the last day I was in Philly I couldn't have felt farther away from another human being I didn't utter one word the whole day and by the day by the time the day has ended I found myself calling a tow truck company. I was trying to figure out where they placed my car because I guess I parked in a no parking area, which is bullshit because I parked in a place that said I could park for two hours, but they took my shit anyways. But anyway, to get back to the point, after I called the tow truck people and walked, uh, I want to say four or five miles in the fucking cold weather, I, for some reason, felt like I needed to talk to someone about my problems. I felt like it would be a great idea if I called my mom and my sister and just let them know what was happening. <clears throat> and I even called a close friend of mine just because... When situations that arise, you feel like you should talk to someone about it, no matter who you are. 
I don't, I, I probably would have told a stranger about my problems. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I did when I was trying to find my car. I was talking to random people, asking them, what should I do? What do you guys think about this situation? Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Just to take some ease off the stress that I was feeling at the moment. And after I called my mom, my sister, and my friend, I started to think, okay, why did I just do that? Why did I come out here to Philly, spend three and a half days trying to be alone as far away from people as I can, then to call uh, all these people? <clears throat> why did I spend all that and then do this? And then I was like, you can't be alone for that long. No human being wants to be alone forever, which is very true. No one can be alone forever. No one can stand the thought of having themselves to themselves, if that makes sense. And I have this little quote for you guys. You see... There are times where we are meant to be alone. Maybe for a week, or a month, or even a year. But in the end, we grow fond of people. We want to grow with people. We want to share with people. Deep down, we don't want to be alone. Deep down, we want someone to care for. No matter who you are, no one should be left alone. No one.